This week's episode of Bonaire Dive News includes a stony coral tissue loss disease update, where to get turtle information now that it's turtle nesting season, the 2023 coral spawning calendar, and progress on reopening the recompression chamber. Plus, weather conditions, meetings, and special events for the next week. Let's jump in. Stony coral tissue loss disease continues to spread across the island. The map on Stanapa's website shows six sites where the disease is actively spreading. While that has remained stable for the last two weeks, the number of sites where caution is advised rises from three to seven. The impacted sites range from Cliff, north of Kralendike, to Lighthouse Point, south of the airport. All divers are encouraged to decontaminate gear before and after each dive day, limit dives to one area of the island per day, avoid infected areas, and report potential infections to Stanapa. Additionally, Stanapa has posted recommended cleaning solutions for different types of gear. But if you don't have those where you're staying, a number of dive shops around the island are offering their rinse tanks free of charge. More information can be found at stanapabonaire.org forward slash Bonaire National Marine Park. Turtle nesting season has begun on Bonaire and continues through December. The island is home to green, hawksbill, and loggerhead turtles. Sea Turtle Conservation Bonaire has a robust organization of staff and volunteers with many different ways to get involved during your visit, including dives to remove fishing line, nest monitoring patrols, and bi-monthly presentations. More information can be found at bonaireturtles.org. The recompression chamber on Bonaire was temporarily closed in February due to a shortage of dive medical staff. Currently, anyone requiring such services would be flown to nearby Curaçao. According to the Bonaire reporter, Three doctors have recently been hired. However, no reopening date has been announced. Hopefully, it won't be too much longer. You can find more information about the facility at recompressionchamberbonaire.com. The Caribbean Marine Biological Institute recently released its 2023 coral spawning prediction calendar for the Southern Caribbean. While a couple of the early spawnings have already occurred, the majority start in July, with August, September, and October providing the best opportunities to see multiple coral species spawning. The calendar provides recommended dates and time windows for viewing. With any luck, this is the year we get some footage ourselves. More information can be found at researchstationkarmabi.org. If you're coming to Bonaire next week, the temperature will be fairly consistent with highs in the mid-80s and lows in the upper 70s. It's been pretty dry here, and that looks to continue, although the chances of rain increase a bit Wednesday through Friday. The wind has been fairly strong, occasionally creating small white caps on the leeward side. It's great for kite and windsurfing, which means there may be overhead traffic if you plan to dive just north or south of the kiteboarding school. Also, note the water temperatures have been around 86 degrees Fahrenheit at the surface, but get down to near 80 degrees at depth. If you're not diving on Sunday evening, consider taking in Reef Renewal Bonaire's weekly presentation at Blenny's Restaurant in the Buddy Dive Resort, where they provide updates on their efforts to strengthen Bonaire's reef system, including coral fragmentation, larval propagation, and outplanting. If you feel particularly adventurous, and perhaps a bit lucky, consider a coral spawning dive at dusk. The Caribbean Marine Biological Institute predicts grooved brain coral may spawn Monday through Thursday and provides a targeted window of 542 to 702 Tuesday and Wednesday evening for the best chance to catch this amazing event. So, there it is. Episode 1 is in the bag. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, give it a like below and consider subscribing to the Tropic Lens channel. We would also appreciate hearing your constructive thoughts about it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Smiley face.